Even the cab driver is afraid of this place. People are afraid of Transylvania because they believe all those stories about vampires, werewolves, witches, and ghosts. Do you believe in them? Well, I think the stories are fun, but they're just stories. They're not real. And that's where the stories about vampires started. Castle Bran. That's where we're going. Being in the castle will be like being in the story. How much fun is that? Oh no, you don't. If I'm going, you're going. <laughs> that is so cool! A screaming doorbell. <laughs> it's it's just a doorbell that screams. <gasps> ah! Ah! Oh, sorry, forgot the lights. Oh, you startled us. We're here to see the castle. I'm Annie. This is Ben and Manco. Sure, come on in. I'm Vlad. This is so great, Vlad. I really like your cape. May I take a selfie with you? Sure. Hey, you're not in the picture. You're right. You can't take pictures of vampires. They're so silly. They think you're a vampire. But I am a vampire. Why do you think I live in this old castle and wear this cape? Are you gonna bite us? Drink our blood? We don't do that anymore. Tomato juice tastes better. Actually, I was going to invite you to... My party! I never get any humans to come to my parties. This is my first. This doesn't look very scary. What's scary about having fun? Ben, I'd like you to meet my friend Bill. He's a werewolf. I am part of a pack. Would you like to join us? Why? Are you coming apart? <laughs> Wow! Werewolves like that joke! The back is gonna like you. Come on. Ben has a new friend. What a cute little monkey. You're a witch, right? It's a hat, isn't it? It always gives me away. I'm Camilla. I'm Annie. This is Mango. Can you do a magic spell, please? I've never seen real magic. Then you love this. Some mango magic. Kazam! <laughs> I think he likes his wings. <laughs> Best game of tag ever! Duck! I mean... Winged monkey! Great! Mango's finally having fun! Is there any bobbing for apples? Not exactly. Yeah, she got me! I'm voiced! Who's the shrunken head I am? High five, teammate! Uh, you don't have any hands. 
or arms, or a body. Oh yeah, <laughs> I always forget. Cannonball! <laughs> Way to go! Hooray! The scariest guest. <laughs> now that's the winner, a robot spider monkey. Spider Yay! Monkey. And spider You're the star of the party. <laughs> big star. <laughs> He's hiding from his fans. Thank you so much, Vlad. Yeah, that was fun! Everyone loved having you at the party! And so you will always remember us, your very own Wempire Cape! This is perfect! We'll never forget Transylvania! Thank you! That's a goodbye I'll never forget. This fog came out of nowhere. I can barely see my own hand in front of my face. I can't see the beach. This is really spooky, like Halloween. There's another boat, Annie. A big one. <laughs> Annie. It's coming right at us! I'm trying to get away! Wow, that was close! <laughs> that old ship barely missed us! Mango! Mango, come back here! Come on, Mango! This isn't our boat! We have to leave! Leave? But you just got here! Just got here! Ghosts! Ghosts! Run! Hide in here! I hope this keeps him out! Arr. You found the dining room. I hope you're hungry. Ah, hungry! We don't need to be afraid. Scary ghosts don't invite you to dinner. Well, this looks delicious. I'm Annie. This is my dog, Ben. And that's Mango. Pleased to meet y'all. I'm Captain John, and this is me first mate and parrot, Susie. Those are really light biscuits. All I've got is ghost food. I had to use a ghost banana to bring your monkey and you here. Why did you do that? Because I need your help. I've been trapped in this ghost fog for 500 years. It was back then that I lost me compass and got lost. My crew abandoned ship and cursed me to spend forever in this fog. It's this cursed fog that turned me and Susie into ghosts. And if you three can't help me out, you'll become ghosts too. <laughs> I don't want to be a ghost dog. That's not going to happen. I always take my compass with me when I get on a boat. I was hoping you'd say that. I found a map of the ghost fog world. 
comes with a curse, you know. A compass is the key to unlocking the map. Now we can find north. The magnetic needle on the compass always points north. Aye, now we can sail out of the ghost fog. First things first, all hands on deck. Aye, aye, Annie. Okay, everyone keep an eye out. We're looking for an island or big rocks. Something on the map that tells us we're sailing to the way out. <laughs> it's an island. We're heading right for it. Good thing this is a ghost ship. A ghost island can sink a ghost ship. Hard port to the left. Did it! Whew! We're okay! High five! Well done, matey. Now that we're past the island. We have the rocks and the giant wave to get past. Rocks ahoy! Does the map show you the way through the rocks? Aye, that it does. We have to sail between those two rocks. Take the bow, Annie. The front of the ship. Tell me where to stare. To the right, Captain John. Too much. Back a little to the left. We made it! Wow, great job, Captain John. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the giant wave. Captain John, what are we gonna do? We turn straight into the wave. It's our only chance. <laughs> only chance. Into the wave? That doesn't sound right. Trust Captain John, he knows what he's doing, I hope. Whoa! I'm out of the fog. It's clear sailing. And you're not a ghost anymore. The curse is over. Ah, clear sailing. That was so exciting. What are you going to do now, Captain John? Now that me and Susie are real again, we're going to sail the world. Ah, sail the world. For us, the ship from the dining table? Me and Susie want you to have it so you never forget our adventure at sea. We love it! Thank you, Captain John. Come on, Susie. Next stop, Jamaica. It's beautiful this time of year. Bon voyage! Bye! Bye! Bye. Goodbye! We've got to get back to land, Annie. And you gave Captain John your compass. There's one in the cabin. Every modern boat has one. The compass is pointing north, and so is Mango. He's not going to monkey around with directions. Ugh, that joke, Ben. The worst jokes are the best jokes. Fantastic snow! The best snowboarding ever! Hey, check it out! Big footprint! Really big! And there's only one thing in the Himalayan mountains that has a foot that big! A Yeti! <laughs> and I found more footprints! <laughs> and I've got a scent! What do you say, Mango? Wanna see a Yeti? The 
the tracks stop here. And I don't know what that is, but it smells like a... Yeti! Supernatural! Well, yeah, he's a Yeti! You're incredible! Thanks, I'm Eddie, the Yeti. Sup? Mango thinks you're great. He's a fan. Thanks, dude. They're having a big snowboarding contest in the village. You're gonna be in the contest, aren't you? I wish. They won't let me compete. They say I don't exist. I've lived here all my life, and nobody will admit I'm real. Of course you exist. And you've been here all your life? How long ago were you born? Don't remember. I was just a baby when it happened. <laughs> Mango's right. You're a great snowboarder. I know exactly what to do. We'll have our own contest. Gnarly! I'll get my buddies. More Yetis? I'm back! Hey, a snow monkey! My pal Sam and Janet are snow monkeys! Ook! Ook! Mango wants to be a snow dude! I think he's off to a good start! Yeti World Snowboarding Contest begin! First event, a downhill race! Try and catch me! We're coming, We're coming for you! For Coming through! Not Yeti! <laughs> Get it? Not yet? Not Yeti? Thank you. And the winner 
of the snowboarding freestyle event, Eddie! I never would have won this if I hadn't met you dudes. And do that. Thank you. Thank you! We had so much fun! They had to change the rules from no yetis allowed to snow yetis allowed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad joke, Ben. Uh, uh, that's, that's terrible, dude. Mango, dude, you were a great co-pilot. Wear my hat, so you remember me. It's a hat for you. It's a tent for Mango. <laughs> <laughs> the crown jewels were awesome! I love the Tower of London! <laughs> Mango, put that back! That belongs to England! Is, is this the kid's stairway? It's so small! It was built almost a thousand years ago, when people were shorter. Hello? Anybody out there? Did you hear that? Hello? Anyone? We're here! How do we get to you? Push the dark stone. <laughs> Got it! Hello? Are you okay? <laughs> Annie! Dark! Scary! Just clap twice. Unfortunately, I find myself unable to clap. Oh my goodness! What happened to your body? A very good question. Perhaps you and your frightened animals can help me find the answer. Oh! Hey! I know this guy! Uh, head! That's Frankenstein! He's a movie star! <gasps> You're famous! Please call me Frank. And yes, I'm famous. Famous for being a monster. People are afraid of monsters, especially famous ones. Frank, where's the rest of you? Well, I'm pretty sure it's with Pookie, my dog. Hey! He's got a dog! Do you have a monkey, too? No. Please don't do that. Long story short, Pookie wanted to play fetch. I was tired and I woke up this way. My body is elsewhere playing fetch with Pookie. We just have to find Pookie and we find your body. Exactly. I believe he went out his doggy door. Hmm. Pookie isn't a chihuahua, is he? Small dogs get caught in my toes. Come on, guys. We need to find Frank's body. We'd better hurry. Frank's already ahead of us. Ha, get it. Woof. Ahead. Ahead. <laughs> Pen likes to tell bad jokes. Mm, he does it well. I believe your monkey is trying to tell us something. <laughs> it's a leg? Not just any leg. My right leg. Ah, yes. I can travel better now. Hey! Now you've got a leg to stand on! That was a particularly bad joke. Excellent job, Ben. Come on! If we've got a leg, the rest of Frank could be close. There! Pookie could be in there! It's our playroom! Oh my gosh! It's gigantic! Mm, big monster, big dog, big playroom. Annie, he's got the same toys we have! Only super-sized! Why haven't I ever read about you and Pookie living here? Nobody but you three know we're here. I don't want to scare anyone. Pookie and I stay inside during the day. 
We only leave at night when nobody's out. You don't have any friends? <laughs> Pookie doesn't have any dogs to run with? No, no friends. And I know Pookie would love to make a doggy friend or two. Well, it's clear that Pookie's not here. Where else could he go? Outside! Boy, I wish I could dig like that! <laughs> Where would Pookie go? Hyde Park! That's where we play fetch at night! <sighs> I couldn't find him either! The sun will be up soon. People will see Pookie. He'll scare them. They don't know how sweet he is. I'm glad to see you too, Pookie. You know, they're just like us when we play. Well, not exactly like us. We have to get out of here before the people and their dogs arrive for their morning run. Oh, Pookie still wants to play. Then he should, and he will. What? Everybody's coming with their dogs. Get ready! It's a monster! And amongst the dogs! <laughs> the dog's gonna eat us! Now! Throw the ball, Frank! Yeah. Wow! Hey, aren't you Frank and Stein? I love your movies! Oh, I love his movies too! You're a fabulous actor! Can I get They're not scared! They like Pookie! They like me! However, did you know? Dog people like other dog people, no matter how big they are. And who doesn't like a movie star? Pookie wants you to have this, so you will always remember us. You're our first ever friends! I promise you, we won't be your last. Would you like to run with the other dogs in the park, Pookie? <laughs> I think I'll join them. Why? Are they coming apart? <laughs> I love that joke. And I love running with the big dogs. Wait for me, Pookie. <laughs> it's a nice day, Frank. Couldn't agree more, Annie. Were you kidding when you said these were all built without trucks and machines? This was all built by hand. Thousands of people worked on them. See? Hey, pictures. Those pictures are called hieroglyphics. That's how the ancient Egyptians told their stories. Wow! Just like comic books. <laughs> Don't worry, Mango. I brought a lamp. How do we get out now? I'm sure we can find the way out. If we read the hieroglyphics. <coughs> it's a mummy! At least he's a little one. <coughs> Why, thank you. I've always wanted to see the pyramids. You understand him with all those bandages over his mouth? It's not what he says, it's the way he says it. And he's a friend. I'm TK. Pleased to meet you, TK. I'm Annie, and these are my friends, Ben and Mango. He wants her help finding something. Oops, the batteries ran down. Thank you, TK. That's much better. Ooh, this is exciting. TK is looking for a hidden treasure chest. Oh, boy! <laughs> I've always wanted to go on a real treasure hunt. Yeah, and in a pyramid with a real mummy. The hieroglyphics say to go this way. It's a dead end. What do we do now? 
Oh no, it's a trap! We're going to get squished! Ooh. Tiki says to read the walls! There may be a way out! Good job, Mango! Follow TK! Isn't this great? So mysterious. I'm just glad we didn't get squished. That's a pretty deep hole! It's a bottomless pit! How do we get to the other side? There's a bar up there. We could swing across, but it's too high. It's still too far away, but maybe... Maybe what? Mango's feet are cold. Everybody hold on. Mango, you grab the bar. Ah. says it's okay. This is the treasure chest he was looking for. <laughs> it's his toy box. I have one at home, too. Hey, Mango. It's treasure to TK. TK wants you to have one of his toys as a souvenir. It's a soldier with a dog hat. <laughs> TK says it's an Anubis. That's a jackal head, not a dog head. These hieroglyphics say that Anubis protects the pyramids and the mummies inside. It's very important to TK. <gasps> fun, but how do we get out of the pyramid? Wow, I wish cool stuff would happen when I clapped my paws. Thanks, TK. We're never going to forget this adventure. Uh -uh. What? What's wrong, Mango? Okay, walk like an Egyptian. I get it. Bye, TK. We'll come back to visit someday. Oh, yeah. And next time, let's meet your daddy and your mommy. Oh, dad choked Ben. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you.